So yesterday was Sunday, and today's President's Day. That means that the president could do whatever the hell he wants. He could grab him by the... You know what I'm saying? In this building right here, I have two fans. That's what, that's what I heard. But they never here. They don't never want to come see me. What kind of fans are you? I'm here all the time. Every day, 24 hours, right there waiting for you. And you still haven't came see me. I don't know about y'all. I'm second guessing y'all. Y'all fanhood. Y'all fan stuff, whatever. Right here, I'm waiting for y'all. So I want to ask you a question. Do you love what you do? This is something that I think everybody should ask themselves, if they love what they do. I'm great at what I do. Like, I could drive, I love to drive, and it's a good thing. Look, that's another bus. That's what I do. I drive these big vehicles every day. And I love it. Honestly, I love what I do and I'm great at what I do, but I think if you don't love what you do, you should, you should figure out or have a plan, a vision board of how to do what you love what to do. But I love what I do because if you notice, I'm a people person and me being a people person is something that I get to do every day is um, interact with people, be nice to them, you know, act of kindness. I, I do it on a constant basis. Is one after another after another. So like I was saying, let's change these angles. Another thing is, if you do something that pays the bills and takes care of you and lets you do what you love to do, that's something that you gotta take into consideration. You just don't drop everything from one day to another because you want to. That's all right, because that's called sacrifice. You sacrifice something for something else. Yo, homie, you a cheater, my nigga. If I send you a message at 146 and you send one at 254, you know what that means? You know what that means? You late and my time is precious. Got that? You got that? Ha! I'm, I'm in the depot, baby. Where are is today? I was looking for my fans, cause you know, I got fans and they wanted to meet me, so I had to put on the orange so they could notice. Like, cause I told them, yo, I'm gonna meet you. I'm gonna meet you, but I got that, I got that orange on, just in case you wanna act up. You know I'm ready to go to jail. You know. Ha! In life, you just gotta have fucking plans. You gotta have goals, and you gotta set them, and, and you gotta stick to your goals. And how you do that is you basically, you know me, I, I, I forget a lot of things, so I have to write shit down. But a vision board is something really great to have. Why is a vision board good to have? It's like, you know, at the end of the year, New Year's Eve, everybody has these goals. A vision board is pictures of stuff that you want to get done in your life. And if you do that monthly, you'll get those things done because if you like, yo, if you put on your vision board, I wanna go to the gym 15 times and you have 15 numbers and you have the gym and you cross them all out, you got that done. You basically fulfill your vision. I was recording without recording. For everybody, not everything pans out how you want it to pan out. Meaning um, when you were younger, you probably wanted to be a certain thing that you're not. You still have to have dreams and ambition and hope for the things that you want just don't settle like oh this is what i'm doing it pays the bills and everything like still have those same goals that you did when you were young as wanting to do extra or do more help whatever it is i'm gonna go see my two fans in that building see if they're here right now because they be playing games with me they be playing games with me i be going every day to go see them and they never show up what's popping be there right now. Oh, another bus. You see my man right here. See if he hits me. So I'm gonna be tired. Hit me, hit me. Oh, he didn't kill me. And it's always easier said than done, but tell me, are you gonna just be satisfied? It's a good way to live your life, not just 
being spontaneous with everything. Certain things are, are good to be spontaneous in. Certain things are good to have plans. Certain things are good to wing it. To not want to be better, that's probably a problem. I like this. See if I find my number one fan in the whole wide world. I'm looking for her. If she, if she pops up. And I got orange for her. I got the jail suit for my co-worker. And I got orange for her. Because if she don't see me, tell me. Like, if you don't see this, you got a problem, don't you? Like, man, bright. I was told she's on this side. First floor. Let's look. Oh, I see a person. I see one person. Is that her? Is that you? I don't know. Oh, somebody else. Is it her? They don't be looking for me, man. They they lie to me, man. They lie to me. They lie to me. Oh, I found her. I found her. I got her. I found her. So you, you 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 look you look at the show at the the channel. That's cool. So look at what I did. I, I'm a fool. I even switched my jacket around so when she sees it, she can know what I'm saying. Cause how you speak from a glass. What's your name? So I met my number one fan today, and it was cloudy. And now look at the day. Ooh, look at the sun. Look at me. I should talk some some of my shit right now and then record it as another video. Ooh, the sun's shining on me. Uh-huh. I look good. I look bad. Ooh, look at that. Look at that. Huh? Look at that. You see that? What are you gonna tell me? Oh, he's trying to kill me. Oh shit, I'm almost dying. It's my natural color. And this sun is beautiful from a gray day to a shiny day or a sunny day. And you know what's funny? I love gray days, they're my favorite days. But this sun right here, how it came out, it was official. And also the day was easy, meaning I'm coming up and down the road. I'm not picking up a lot of people. I'm running hot. Running hot means I'm ahead of schedule. You're not supposed to be ahead of schedule, but I was. And then they told me, they never complained, and then they said you should move up five minutes, meaning I should be hotter. Ooh, hotter, that means earlier. I'm not conceited like that. But I, I'm looking all right, even though I'm trying to look ugly. Look at the dispatcher, he's gonna show up, boom. He's probably looking at me like, yo, you're supposed to leave already. Nah, I'm not supposed to leave already. Anyway, we're gonna end the vlog right here. Have a good one. Peace. So when you love what you do, things come out perfect for you and the sun shines.